On March 27, 1974, the Betts family investigated a small bush fire near their residence in George Island, Florida. The family came across a small metal sphere the size of a bowling ball. Their first thought was the sphere had been a cannonball left from New World Conquistadors. They decided to take the sphere back to their house. Several days later, Terry was playing the guitar in their home. The sphere seemed to react to the sound of the guitar. It made a throbbing noise. Later, the sphere was noticed to roll on its own and even stop on its own, and change direction. The Betzes reported that the sphere moved on its own several times, and that it would follow people around the house seemingly on its own. The family concluded that because it moved more ferociously, when the sun was shining brilliantly, and was subject to solar radiations. Terry began his own experiments. When struck with a hammer or shaken, it rang loudly and rolled all over his room. The family put the bet sphere in a box to prevent it from rolling around the home, and carried it out to show family and friends, who were enthralled by it. NASA was made aware of all this interest in the Betts sphere. Their preliminary investigations revealed that the steel sphere had not been created or altered. Military officials requested that the sphere be returned to their laboratories for more research, but the Betts family refused. The military grabbed the sphere and took it with them, doing what they do best. At Jacksonville Naval Air Station, the sphere was carried, but X-rays were unable to reach the center. Additionally, they learned that it could sustain pressure of 120,000 pounds per inch too. The Navy utilized a 300 kilovolts X-ray that revealed two objects encircled by a halo of materials and revealed four magnetic poles, two positive poles and two negative poles. The sphere was discovered to contain radioactive materials by one researcher, Dr. Carl Wilson, who thought it contradicted the principles of physics. The materials inside the sphere, were heavier than any that were previously recognized by science. The Betts Mystery Sphere is a small metal sphere, with a diameter of 20 centimeters, and weighing 10.0 kilograms. It is the topic of many conspiracy theories and news articles. Although many theories have been proposed since the Betts Sphere was found, Experts are still perplexed and have no idea where it originated from, or what it does. A 2012 analysis by Skeptoid revealed contemporary media analysis that indicated the sphere was a ball check valve, produced by the Bell & Gossett Company, its size, weight, and metallurgical composition matched those of the company's ball check valve. Skeptoid also revealed analysis of the sphere's seemingly autonomous motion, noting that the sphere sat quietly on display inside the Betts home for nearly two weeks, and is not reported to have ever moved on its own at all, except for when someone took it down to experiment with it, and quoting a representative of the United States Navy who stated that, I believe it's because of the construction of the house. It's old and has uneven stone floors. The ball is almost perfectly balanced, and it takes just a little indentation to make it move or change direction. As well, Skeptoid noted coverage of New Mexico artist James Derling Jones, who had been collecting scrap metal for use in sculptures. Derling Jones reported having loaded ball check valves into the rooftop luggage rack of his Volkswagen bus, and having driven through the Jacksonville area around Easter of 1971, at which time a few of the balls rolled off the luggage rack and were lost. Skeptoid concluded that this was the sphere's origin. The location of the Bet sphere is unknown, so we will probably never know the real truth, but space enthusiasts from all over the world are still baffled by it.